once again. And our blue team on the left side of the map, they are Symbiote Gaming. And they have Tassadar played by Ko. Um, we have Soldier playing Stitches. We have uh, Matt Timmy on Malfurion. Marsh is playing Tychus. And Arfilin is playing Nazebo. And on the right hand side, we have Pickup Group. Starting in the bot lane in the Red Trunks, we have Chu8 on the Valor. In the mid lane, we have the actual Chu, the real Chu, on the Illidan. We have Araragi on the on the Arthas. We have Ero on the on the Zeratul. And in the top lane, we have Nick Hotz. He is playing the Brightwing. Uh, I'm lagging a little bit. I hope this is uh, not really affecting it's, anything it's else. It's going to be NA. I'm getting a couple frame drops, but it is not terrible. Oh, we'll have to see. Maybe it fixes it itself. But this looks a little bit different from the last game we saw. Uh, Araragi and Arho already a little bit more active on the map and looking to get a gank in. Yeah, they're looking uh, for it. This is very similar to the EU style that we personally are used to. And there we go. They, they know they can't get a gank, so they're instantly going to move into this top lane and get it pushed up so that they can move on and try and find something else in peace while knowing that Nick is not going to have too much trouble up there. And Soldier, however, pushing up his mid lane very heavily. Chu already pushed back. And Chu, his evasion will not protect against Stitch's slam. And Stitch's has been using that to his advantage. However, the auto attacks that Chu's going to get down, seriously going to help this. He's just going to regen all that lost health. And then finally in the bot lane, Chu8 is having many, many problems with the once again free man push from uh, Symbiote Gaming. But Symbiote actually backing up. We're going to make sure they're not being ganked. Very, very nice cautious play there. Yeah, they really watch out, really watch out on their back, and they need to watch out, because Arphis and Zeratul, they're moving in, but they're just looking around, they're just trying to find an opening here, and Zeratul, he's waiting, he sees Nazebo there, a little bit out of position, yeah, and pretty coming far in from the back here. now. Here comes Aragi, where's the root? Gets it onto Arphalon, and Ero pulling back a bit, there's the zombie wall to try and save himself, but it did not work. The Frozen Tempest from Araragi was able to take him down, and that is the first blood over to Pickup Group. Yeah, nice first blood here. Of course, uh, not really uh, that much game changing, but it's still nice to uh, see it picked up here by Pickup Group. Yeah, apparently, I've been told that Chu 8 is the real Chu, <laughs> so that's not confusing at all. Okay, that. that uh... A little bit confusing, two, maybe. There's two eight. Is that, where is two one through seven? Is what I have to know. <laughs> well, we have the uh, not, uh, the bruiser camp being picked up here by Aho and Araragi. They're um, kind of uh, dealing a little bit of damage or getting dealt a little bit of damage here. They but that is a nice that, exchange. However, they can grab that up. They can grab that fountain on the way and head straight to that tribute. But instead, they're going to hang in the death brush and try and catch Tasta as he comes down, but it doesn't look like Tastar is going to roam down to the Tribute at all. And this means that Symbiote basically have it completely uncontested here. Yeah, they're going to grab this. Uh, they even have Matt Timmy in front to scout out what Shu is doing, but Shu has to defend. I mean, he's already so far back. He lost both towers and the gate. So that is the issue you have to deal with if you're facing this uh, three-man push. You definitely need to react to it. But, I mean, right now? Pickup group, they're playing a little bit of a different game. Uh, they're going for the steel here on the Siege Shine, so that's a lot of damage already coming into the towers here. Yep, doing a nice job here. They're playing the Gorilla Tactic game, where they're just playing safe, getting mercenaries where they can, making sure they don't get picked off in lane. They've already lost one person. Uh, in fact, they've already got a person. They haven't lost pers a person of their own yet, doing a very good job of that. And Chu, finally thinking about roaming, he's hanging in his own bush, making sure he doesn't get caught. But there's two people in the mid lane. So he knows he's a little safe, and now he has eyes on Stitches. He feels safe moving back into lane, getting a bit of harassment, and clearing that wave. And Araragi and Arho, they're looking for a rotation here. Possibly uh, trying to get in from the back, but no, it doesn't look like Arphalon really overextends here. And they're just waiting for the next tribute, and there it goes on their side of the map. Not a bad location, but the problem is each and every one of them was down here, but Shu moving in. Getting, trying to get on top of Arthalon, there is the kick, and Arho Arthalon on the back dealing a lot of damage. Arthalon, can he get away? No, he can't, and Marge needs to stay back, needs to get behind those gates. Chu Marge. will be able to get away, though. Yeah, Marge has, is pretty good for health, thanks to the Malfurion, but that is another pickup for, uh, another pickup for pickup group, in fact. 
And they are oh, that storm so close. Aragi able to grab the tribute by the skin of his teeth. That storm so close to interrupting, but very unlucky there for KO. Yeah, Not just an inch, just an inch um, to change that up. And wow, they're already going for their boss. I think they and can. so far, it hasn't been scouted out by uh, by Symbiote. But they are a level ahead now, but just by a little bit of XP. Not really a huge margin here. And they're looking yep. to go for their own bruises right now. And Keio, even scouting everything out here. Yep, not even easy to use his Oracle. He pretty much sees it happening. There is the Golem. Keio instantly heading back into lane. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to defend this until it's up. Yeah, like you said, Arphalon and uh, Mad Timmy able to grab their bruiser cam. So they're going to put a little bit of pressure on the mid lane while... We have Pickup Group putting some pressure on the top lane. Arphalon needs to be careful here. He backs up the zombie wall, blocking off the escape there. But we're already seeing... Um, yeah, we're already seeing Pickup <laughs> that Group. That was a nice close hook on Aragi. They They're still have three in. heroes down here. They need uh, they need Illidan in the fight as well, though. And possibly Brightwing, but she can react pretty quickly here. Yeah, Brightwing can TP down while, Z while Tassadar has to stay up here to deal with this. There's the hook. Oh, amazing Chu. hook, but Chu does out. get away. Oh my god. Oh, what a void prison. Getting three heroes caught in the action. And that's Arho channeling right away. There is the Ancestral Spirit, though, heading again. It. It, it doesn't interrupt in time. Nick, able to blink heal out. Wait, did he or did he just die? Where's he gone? Oh, he was gorged. He gets vomited up inside the main base. He does go down, and that is the first kill for Symbio, and that is another tribute for Pickup Group. Pickup Group coming out pretty well there, but they did lose their Brightwing. She will be up, though, in eight seconds, so she will be more than up in time for the next tribute. The question is, will she be up in time to help them contest this Golem, which is already being taken? It's already very low. They've got to contest it. they got to get in now. Aragi is charging straight in. He's in the circle. He can't drop. In comes Illidan as well. 2B dropped very low. They've pushed out the circle, but Aragi is still here. Nick gets dropped down. He teleported in too, doing as much damage as he can, but that was a bit overly ambitious there by Team Pickup Group, and they do all go down. 2B will die as well. And that was far too ambitious. Chu 8 is alive and has escaped. He's going to head up to the tribute, maybe to try and delay it. But right now, a huge push coming from uh, Symbiote there. Won the perfect fight. That was far too ambitious there by Pickup Group. Yeah, no idea why they did that. Uh, didn't really make all that much sense. Without Chu in the fight, they really need Chu just to get a little bit more damage done there. And Metemi going for the interrupt. And Chu has to back off. They need their other heroes here, otherwise they can't fight this. Rooted, able to shield himself, so he is still not too bad. They're going on to Keo. And Aero gets, oh. pop, gets popped. He blinks at the wrong spot. That's no way you want to blink. Emerald Wind tries to save him, but it's not enough. Aero goes down. He tried to blink over the wall here, but didn't actually manage it. Blinked into the little half moon thing at the top. And it did get taken out by Tychus yeah. there. Very and unlucky. That's Pickup group just backing off. They knew they couldn't take this, but instead going for their bruises. Might be a bad timing though. Oh, Arfilon coming in and oh, nice zombie wall. Just stopping them from re-engaging this and going for the steal here on the bruisers. Good pickup for Symbiote Gaming. Yep, and Symbiote have already completely turned this game around from what it was earlier. Symbiote were a bit behind. They were in a position where maybe it wasn't the best position they could have been in. They were already behind in kills, their lanes were okay, a couple of them were pushed up, but now they are far, far ahead. Yeah, definitely uh, ahead by quite a bit of margin, and there we go, they got to the top four as well. And that's two levels, two level advantage for them, and really solid and um, yeah, defensive play as well. I mean, they're really thinking about their moves here, but right now, uh, getting that top four it's, um Put them off a little bit uh, as far as positioning goes for the next tribute, and this is a big one. Both of these teams have two tributes already, already up. Aragi waiting in the bush. Aragi, he gets rooted though. He was waiting just for the vision, but he's gonna get caught in the zombie oh, wall. Amazing he's zombie wall. He, it has bought his team enough time though. Shoot! Oh, and oh! The spirit last second on two pushes him away from the tribute. And now Symbio has control of this area. They do have some easy camps pushing their top buildings, but it doesn't matter. They're going to get the first wow. burst. That easy camp will now get picked off by the next minion wave. They can even send someone back to deal with it if they want. And Symbio now needs to absolutely make the most of this. They are already two forts ahead. They have to get this mid one to get themselves further ahead. Wow, that, that was just amazing for Symbiote. Um, amazing zoning coming out of them. 
And this is gonna grab him um, one more fort here at least, and they're trying to push a bot lane as well. So, uh... Very good. They're not even bothering with that mid fort because they know the enemy team has to defend it. They're all putting all their efforts into this bot lane because that is their golem lane so that it can help take the keep easy. In comes Brightwing for pickup group looking for the opportunity. Arphalon being focused down. He's able to get out, but Marsh has been Oh, rooted. nice void prison. Marsh even runs in there as well. And there's the engage by Elodin. He just jumped straight in there. March going so low, but so getting healed back up. Though, but the strafe did a lot of damage, but we saw Mad Timmy using Ice Mox to defend against him. March is somehow alive, not being focused by anything at all. He's now being gorged. Anything is hit, spread out by two, but now everyone's pretty much full health again. Chu's getting focused down. He will go down. In comes the rest of pickup group, maybe for round two. The curse is now over. Soldiers going so ham here, just holding back the rest of pickup group. But pickup group have been forced to disengage. Nick being dropped low. He does go down to the Nazibo poison. And that is a great trade there for Symbio. Not even losing a single member and taking down two members of pickup group. And they will get this key. Yeah, and that was a nice timing coming out of uh, out of pickup group to just get out of that fight because they had two heroes so incredibly low. Uh, this could have been game already if they would have stayed in that fight. So nice timing on the retreat and Arphalon oh, is a little bit of trouble but should be able to get away. Yep, he should be good unless Zero Tool uh, can get, somehow get to level 20. Get, somehow get six levels, get to level 20 and take Bolt to the Storm so we can double blink and get the damage down. But there is no way that is happening. We are now seeing Pickup Group heading towards their Golem. They're going to take this just to try and get some counter push going. We also see that the Symbiote one will be up in 30 seconds. So they will maybe take their Bruiser Camp? No! They, it looks like they're going to head up and try and contest this Golem. They might be there in time. In fact, they're definitely going to be there in time. The question is, can they contest it? Uh, they might they're be trying to, but here. Arrow scouted them out. He knows yep. what's up. They need and to take it quick. They're trying. It is down. They need to get in the circle. Get in the circle. They need to the spirit. He gets in the circle. Marsh is there. The boy prison slowed it down, but it's too late. Marsh goes down. He was in there on his own. Essential spirit, though, dealing so much damage. Nick is down. Ever being dropped, especially low. Chu has also been forced to retreat. Chu 8 also retreating. And that was a two for two trade. And we are seeing. P uh, pickup group in full retreat. They are very, very worried about this. They're all very low. Whereas we can see Symbio all pretty much full health, except for Arthur, but he's being healed up now by Malfurion. And they're actually going to get another two towers here and at least a little bit of damage onto that key. Well, they're still pretty, uh, pretty good on the health department, but lost a lot of mana, so they are going to turn back. Maybe go for the Bruiser camp, but cooldowns are almost up. Arthur is already back in the game. I think it's a little bit too risky. So probably just go back, deal back with the boss. Yeah, the, the, actually the golem's pretty good. Tigers can head up there and deal with it. They're going to head down and probably get their own boss. Yeah, that's a good idea as well. Um, everyone is back up. Yeah, Tigers going to deal with the boss here. Yeah, they need to be careful though. They could have the counter attempted steal coming in there. Arphalon currently tanking. He is a bit squishy. Maybe a bit too squishy to be tanking here. But, uh, I almost hit the wrong button and exited there while trying to adjust my sound settings. That would have been bad. But we, we are seeing them go, going on to this boss very hard. They want to take it down, and we're seeing no chance of contestion here from pickup group. They're instead going to head up to top lane, and they're likely going to get a free tribute for this. There's no way the Symbiote can get up there in time, and Symbiote leaving it to the last second to take that golem. Yeah, this is an amazing pickup here for our pickup group. Going for the free tribute, and this would be a nice possibility to turn things around. They're only a level behind, so pushing down one fort at least uh, would give them back in the game, uh, as far as the experience is concerned. And they're going for the siege camp at the same time. And mind you, the towers in top lane are already pushed, so they might be getting a keep here. This is very possible, so siege giants gonna try and do their best. Oh, they're all being back to the base back for some door. Reason. The back door. Oh, yeah, pent. that's why. I, I completely missed that. So here we go. And the counter but the counter B, we're seeing the entirety of uh Symbio also back it out. They've realized that everyone has already returned to base and are just gonna be back to their base, clear up the waves that are pushing that easy camp. They do not want that taking a keep for free. And the golem is just gonna keep the pressure on and basically completely uh, wait out that curse for Symbiote there. So Symbiote Yeah, this this was an amazing move by Symbiote. Uh, they just forced Pickup Group back uh, by doing that like little fake out uh, backdoor attempt. And that kind of stopped them from going for that keep. Otherwise they would have gotten that keep for sure. 
And there's the Void Prism catching Marge and Soldier taking a lot of damage as well. But the shield comes in, he's still back in there. And Marge trying to get out, but that's the wrong way, dude. He's and fine, he's able to dash backwards. He's now rooted, but it comes true. The Ancestral Spirit, though, he just teleported him right to the Ancestral Spirit. He's been dropped very low. There's the overdrive, and he does go down. And that was the wrong place to teleport as did. That's four members down, and now the back door has turned into a front door. Yeah, the CCO back door is wide open. To dive that core. They're marching forward, and only a few minions uh, stopping them. And Arthas, of course, is still in there. Gonna but I don't so think he can do take. all that much. Soldier is going to tank. He's going in. He's shielded by Tassadar, so they can tank this in time. Question is, do they have the damage in time for the respawn? Looks like they do. Fit yeah, well, Aragi Simbiot not even going for it. This yeah, is going knows. to be Symbiote's game. Yeah, incredible play by Symbiote. Looking a bit wobbly at the start, but instantly bringing him back and not letting go of that control. They take this game and they will move on to the quarterfinals, round of 16. Uh, this would be the quarterfinals for Symbiote.